Alright guys, this is Luigi Rocks 2014 back with some more new Super Mario Bros. DS. We missed the video. We're gonna possibly take on the finale of this game, hopefully. We pretty much have three more levels plus the final boss left and then we're pretty much done with this game. So I want to try to get it all done as quickly as possible. Oh, and if anyone also didn't check out either, I uh, made a new, or no, I didn't make this, but if anyone didn't go to my channel, today is uh, July 25th, 2014. Um, if anyone didn't check out my channel, some of you might have noticed I got a new banner with my own channel name and stuff. The person who actually made that was uh, Ultimate Umbreon HD, and I'm actually going to give a shout out to him, by the way, for making that icon. Uh, make sure to go check out his channel if you want to, I guess, an icon or banner or whatever. But you have to add him on Skype, obviously, to do that. Um, so let's see, I already got 93 lives. Um, yeah, the banner, like some of you might have noticed, like the banner I got was no ordinary banner. It was like an animated GF banner. For some reason now, YouTube is accepting animated GF banners or whatever you call them. It's something like that pretty much. But yeah, YouTube's accepting those, so pretty much now you can have your own anime GF banner with your name on it and maybe some little slogan or whatever you want to put on there. Oh my gosh, and it really would have helped if I'd gotten a one-up like from that Boomerang brother, but uh, apparently I messed up. Okay, so kill that uh, giant hammer brother. Okay. Okay, I am definitely got to get these red coins because you, you already know that I'm really low on lives. Okay, okay. Well, okay, okay. Don't want to kill the Koopa. I need to keep these two alive. Yes, okay. So... Apparently that puts me at 95 or yeah 95 lives, but You know it ain't really gonna do any good, but uh, whatever Well, I finally got some backup. That's good. Oh And it looks like one of the item thingies came to that side of the bridge Okay, I don't want to save just yet cuz um I need to get a mushroom, or a mini mushroom. You know, actually, no, then again, me getting back up probably wasn't going to make a difference, because, yeah, I need the mini mushroom. Anyways, so, right here, we need to... Oh, yeah, pause it on the fire flower. Duh. And after getting the mini mushroom, I'm just leave, and then... Of course, I'm going to save, of course. Uh, the screen's a little bit smeared, but... I'll wipe that off. Anyway, so this is unfortunately this is the final mushroom house, so yeah, I better save. And okay. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now we just gotta go into this level. And if you hear background noise like random trucks or whatever, eh, just ignore it. If you can, that is. No. Okay. Yeah, I probably was going to have to had to commit a little suicide there, but hey, it was the only way I could get to the first star coin. The second star coin, you actually need the mini mushroom, which is why I went into that toad house and got it. Now, nah, watch out for that bomb. I hate those things. They're so annoying. I wonder if those things can go on top of the platform. They don't. Yay. Yeah, get out of here. No one likes you. No one likes you either. Oh gosh. Okay. You might, I think, to be honest, you probably should just land on them rather than shoot those things with fireballs. Because you're going to take a lot of damage if you do. Well, not much, but still. Okay, definitely, we need to have one of these rocks destroy, or meteors destroy the middle block because that's the way into the mini pipe. Come on. Is it really that freaking hard? Are you kidding me? I don't want to stand on it because then I'll probably end up dying. Alright. Let's see if I just... Okay, I'll stand on it. 
That's what I'm gonna do. Alright, we'll use the mini mushroom. And go down the pipe. Alright, I'm gonna try to control this if I can. Um, I forgot to mention, if the... If the screen or quality is, is a little bit brighter than usual, it's just because I am charging my 3DS. Unfortunately, when I went to record, I noticed it was, uh, the battery was low. It was from when I was recording yesterday, July 24th. Yeah, yesterday when I recorded part 16 and 17, those were recorded uh, July 24th, 2000. 14 and 18 is going to be recorded as of today the 15th I wanted to get it all recorded on that one day July 24th but apparently I didn't have enough time to do that because well first of all I ran out of memory the memory timed out so I didn't have enough time to record any more new Super Mario Bros DS and yeah I'm basically you probably can't really see me very well but I'm right down below that mini pipe. So I'm going to wait for the meteors to go by. I'm going to hit this block and then grab that star. Alright. I want to try to kill all these guys. Well, nope. And I died. Fuck. I'll be right Alright, so we're back. And, um... Yeah, finally made it through that. Jeez, that was annoying. Anyways, so it looks like we made a mega mushroom house up here, but you know, I don't really need that. Yeah, see, like I'm like I'd be using that. All right, so Two more levels left and then we'll be done. We'll be finally done with this stupid playthrough that I've been really having it on hold for. Yeah, at least it hasn't been on hold for like a year. I mean, some people when they do walkthroughs or whatever, they usually just end up leaving it on hold for a year. I hate that. Especially with Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door for the Nintendo GameCube. I've seen people put that game on hold dozens of times. It's so crazy and I don't know why. But yeah, I'm probably just going to do the final castle in this video as well. I was just I was thinking about saving it for next video, but then again, that ended up being in part 19 and I usually like my walkthroughs to end in an even number. And if this is the and if part 18 is the only way for it to end in an even number, then fine. I'll I'll deal with part 18 ending in in that sort of number. And then, yeah, part 18 seems like a good legit number to end it off on. Last time I did this on the Nintendo 3DS 2, it actually took me about uh, it took me about 25 or 26 parts to finish. Yeah, it was quite a lot the last time I did it, but this time, as you notice, only took me about probably 18 parts. Are you serious? Oh my gosh! Okay, that was stupid, alright? You, you, no. I don't even think that was going to come back anyway, so... Whatever. Anyways, so we're going to continue through 90 lives again. Or coins. Well, I should probably just go back and get some power-ups. That's probably what I am going to do. Just look at this. This is crap. I'm still down to 96 lives. I know we're close to getting 99. Alright, well, I'll try to get a mushroom if I can. Six, seven. Alright, good. I just really wish I had a fire flower in my item stash. Apparently, I don't have one now. Alright, right. Alright, there we go. Made it up to the top. I'm sorry if I'm not talking. I need, I just, I gotta focus. Gotta focus, gotta focus, gotta focus till the very end. That's what I gotta do. Alright, there's a spike ball. Try to avoid it. Yep, fall. No, don't wanna fall into those spikes. 
Kind of did something stupid like that before, and I'm not going to do it again either. Dodge that. Grab that third star coin and hurry onto your platform before it gets away. Alright, I'm going to cut back. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. And I made it back onto this platform. Anyway, so now we're going to take on the boss, Bowser Jr., as usual. Yay. Okay. Well, come on. Is it really that? Fine. You know what? We'll do it the hard way. Fine. There. Did it. Beat Bowser Jr. Yep. If you want to be a little douchebag with those Koopa shells, then fine. I'll just pull out a fire flower out of my ass then. Anyways, so... He goes off to the final castle, which is basically the last level of the game. So, yeah, let's go. Let's do this. It kind of stinks, though, that there's no bonus world or anything like that. Oh, well. But, hey, in later Mario games, Nintendo does design stuff like that. I, I don't know why, but they just decide to design bonus worlds at the at the end of every Mario game. I, it was kind of like that with Super Mario World where they put in bonus worlds and stuff. Anyways, anyways, sorry. My throat was a little cloggy or something. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, like I said, hit that switch, come to this area. I didn't even mention about the castle or the second tower being a level with the tr those little treadmill thingies. Yeah, unfortunately, that's like the second level we have to ride those stupid treadmills. I really hate riding those things. They're so annoying. I don't know why. They just are. Alright, and here, just watch out for the giant thwomp. Don't get hit by him. Uh, I don't exactly need that fire flower since I already have backup, but... Eh, uh, whatever. Eh... Uh, I want to try to avoid getting it just in case I get hit here, which I probably won't. And I didn't. So yeah, I kind of remember how this castle goes. Just avoid all of this crap that's in your path. Hit that dry bones. I do remember that you have, there's a switch over here that you got to hit. I remember that part. Yeah, definitely have to hit that. That's the only way if you want to get your uh, second star coin. We haven't even gotten the first one. I know what you're thinking. And I got hit, but you know what? I'll deal with it. So if you're big, you want to duck at that part. If you're small, you usually you don't have to worry about ducking. Alright, here, avoid these thwomps. These guys are really annoying. I hate this part right here. Alright, we'll let him drop down. Alright, and there you go. So you want to be standing, that platform I was standing on, you want to be standing on like the second block in order to get to that side. But you got to be running at the same time in order to avoid getting hit. Like, and if that didn't make sense, I'm sorry. You're just going to have to try to follow me around there if you can. Alright, hit this switch. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be... Like, unfortunately this weekend, I probably won't be able to get any Mario Kart 7 online community races uploaded, but, eh, I don't know. I was probably going to do that, but, eh, I don't know. I might wait off on that, as I said. I really don't feel like doing any online community races right now, because I'm not at my dad's house. The only times I want to record those is when I'm at my dad's house, because I like doing a uh, guest commentary so yeah, if you saw the one with uh, me, Quasi J, Nintro, and Ultimate Umbreon HD, yeah, that was actually some show. I gotta say, the rage totally got real on that episode, episode three and four. Anyway, so here you want to take the. There's a little puzzle you have to take. This is like the same thing that you had to take during Mario Bros. One. This puzzle is you have to take like the bottom part part on the first area, top on the second, and the middle one on the second part and I think I might have messed that up oh no I didn't I didn't hear the thing go off so I couldn't really tell I guess I was so busy talking I wasn't even paying much attention but over there you got your third star coin and now we're gonna go into the door which leads to the boss 
the final boss I should say and we have Bowser Jr. dry Bowser who is about to become regular Bowser with this little machinery that Bowser Jr. has I hate this boss so much Easy as hell. Oh crap. I hate this part right here. Alright. And there we go. We beat the game. Yay. <laughs> and that's how it's done. Yay. F yay for you, Luigi. You're number one. As always intended. <laughs> now if Mario saw that, he'd probably be pissed. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, Mario would probably be pissed if he saw that. <laughs> Yay. Alright, so here we have the credits. On the top screen, you basically have a little scrapbook of all the levels you've went through. Yay. <laughs> On the touch screen, you have uh, basically the credits, like basically the people who made the game, all that stuff. The creators cool little trick you can actually do is you can tap on the little letters with your stylus on the touch screen which is pretty cool yeah you can make like basically when you tap on a letter it changes the sound effects go all different basically when you tap like on a V the letter V it basically creates a one-up sound effect And I guess when you tap wherever on the touch screen, it basically just um, just makes the sound effect of Mario or Luigi jumping. Yeah, I'm not really going to bother messing with that. Actually, if I probably get my stylus, I would, but eh, I'm too lazy to go get it. Actually, I have it right here with me, so I could probably go get it right now if I want. But you know, actually, I'll do it. So tapping the touch screen is so hard with my finger, so I'll just use my stylus. Yes, I have a stylus. I just I never really use it because I'm just too lazy to use it. That's just how I am. It's mainly because most of the times when I make these videos, playing the game while holding the stylus, it just gets so annoying. That's why I just use my finger to do this. Yay. Yeah, it's so much easier just tapping on the letters using the stylus. Actually, the color stylus I got is a gray one. It was from when I had my old DS system, DS Lite. And it wasn't until I ended up breaking that system. Yeah, I, I ended up, like, the 3DS, like, I never broke the 3DS, but... When I had my DS Lite, I had two of them actually, because both of them I actually ended up breaking because I got mad at some games so much. Yes, I'm one of those guys where you cannot trust me with your systems or whatever, okay? I'm just going to warn you right now, you can't trust me with any of your systems or whatever. So yeah, I just want to point that out there. Don't ever trust me with your, your, your toys, kids, because <laughs> I may just end up breaking them. <laughs> Swag. Yeah, so we're probably going to end up going over 15 minutes, but hey, that's how finale should go. Because, like, when my videos go over 15 minutes, when I upload the videos on Windows Movie Maker, it'll give me a notice saying, oh, the video is longer than 15 minutes. Are you sure you want to publish it? I hate getting those stupid notices. It's so annoying. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you, some of you might think I, it's like, the way I upload videos is probably different than the way you guys do it. I don't usually, like, use, I don't know, Google Chrome, Firefox, or whatever to upload it. I just upload my videos through Windows Movie Maker. And some of you are probably going to be asking me, how do you upload videos on YouTube with Windows Movie Maker? Um, first of all, you actually need a Microsoft account, which I'm sure most of you probably don't even have. 
I'm probably like probably like one of the only people that have a Microsoft. Well, I'm not the only one with a Microsoft account. Um, Feratovic actually has one himself, so yeah. So actually, he he could possibly upload videos to his channel using Windows Movie Maker as well if he ever wanted to. So that that's it's kind of a cool procedure. In my opinion, it just saves time in the long run. Because after, like, you know, because sometimes when you normally edit your videos, you, you have to, like, save the video. And then once it's done saving, then you have to open up your internet browser, upload it to YouTube. I hate doing that. That's so annoying. That's why I just upload videos using Windows Movie Maker. Like, I just upload it directly from Windows Movie Maker to YouTube. So that way I just won't have to worry about it taking forever to... That way I just won't have to, like, publish it on YouTube a second time. And it'll automatically upload to YouTube for me. Yay, Bowser Jr. <laughs> Bowser's all dead. Karen, he's like Karen Bowser. I love that. And here on the touch screen, you actually have this thing that says the end. And if my camera will focus, in which I think you can see this. Basically, if you notice in the background, there's a thing in the background that says select a file. L plus R plus A equals Luigi, which <laughs> some of you probably already knew that. Because, you know, I've already shown you that. Even when you start a new profile, you can still play as Luigi, which I've already shown you. Some of you already know that. Anyways, so we just beat the game. Almost beated it. On the touch screen here, you can see we have two stars, but that's not all. We can actually get a third star on our profile, but how do we get the third star, you ask? Well, actually, first of all, if you haven't noticed all the mushroom houses here, went f turned blue if you notice I'll show you what that does here in a second just hold on um, so let's see here you can spin all the star coins on all these cards these little backgrounds basically what they do is they change the background layout on your touch screen pretty much it's pretty cool now this last one here you have to spend all the star coins on all the all of the toad houses in order to unlock it so if you didn't do that, this background right here won't be available. So I just thought I'd point that out right now. You have to spend all the star coins on the toad houses in order to unlock that. And after you, after spending all your star coins, you get a a little cutscene that says, well, not cutscene, but a cutscene about how you spent all your star coins and crap. So we basically just beat the game. Now I'm going to show you what the what happens when the mushroom houses turn blue. And this is just like in any other new Super Mario Bros. game, really. You go into the mushroom house. Um, and, of course, I don't really need any one-ups, but I'm going to just show you an example anyways. And I got a Bowser, but hey, that's cool. Basically, what happens is when you... Um, Go through a toad house. Rather than it disappearing, it'll just stay there f for, like, I don't know, for all eternity. Like, basically where you can't make it disappear. And I did not mean to go into that mega mushroom house, but whatever. Um, Yeah, we're just going to get out of here. Anyways, I want to show you guys one little quick thing real quick. Actually, what I'm going to do real quick is save. And then I'm going to show you something else. Here on the touch, here on the pause menu, if you press L R L R X X Y Y, you will activate a secret challenge mode. Which w what it does is, for example, if you go into a level with the red mark on the upper right, it's kind of like New Super Mario Bros. for the NES, where if you go like far, if you go pretty far through the level, like going right a bit to where you make the screen move a bit, and then try to backtrack, you'll notice that basically you can't even actually backtrack. That's pretty much what the challenge mode does. So, basically, if you, like, get stuck, you can pause the game and then exit the map. Now, to deactivate challenge mode, you just press L, R, L, R, X, X, Y, Y. If I can do this right. There we go. Yeah, so activate that, and then the challenge mode deactivates. So, actually, now what I'm going to show you guys is the the title menu, the... See if we, yep, we beat the game 100%. So, this is pretty much what your profile should look like after beating the game 100%. So, if you didn't get three stars on your profile, well, you pretty much missed something. And whatever that is, well, you might as well just go back from my past videos of this game and try to figure out what you missed. So, 
Yeah, you can try out the challenge mode. Challenge mode only occurs after you beat the game. I don't think I'm gonna really show any gameplay of the challenge mode. Maybe I'll do that like if on if maybe like as a random video or something, but other than that though, that's pretty much it for this playthrough. 100 percent complete. So I haven't decided what my next playthrough is gonna be. It'll probably be new Super Mario Bros. 2, possibly Super Mario 3D Land. I haven't really decided which one it'll be, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on either Super Mario 3D Land or New Super Mario Bros. 2. I'll probably do New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the heck of it, so I'll see you guys next time. Until then, this is your buddy Luigi Rocks 2014 signing out. Peace.